welcome back to the channel all right in this video we're going to be doing a self-driving experiment using tesla's full self-driving software we're starting this from the park position and we are going to first make a right here at this junction and then we're looking to make a unprotected left coming up here at our next stop sign so this left turn is difficult for a lot of people and it at this time around 4 30 to 5 it gets pretty jam-packed and there's tons of people trying to make a left usually right now it looks like there's just one car and but there's lots of cars flying by in both directions so fsd's got to really figure out how to first get into the median and then finally make the full left turn so looks like we've got a clear cut right now fsd should go ahead and make the turn i'm not sure why it's hesitating i would have definitely made the turn by now and i didn't do any accelerator presses whatsoever there as you can see it fully made the turn it didn't need to hang out in the median area saw that it had the clear cut right away and it did it perfectly so yeah really nice job to start this out what we are looking to do now actually is cut through straight into route 7 so if you're familiar with the area we're going to go through Potomac View which is a small narrow two-lane road so we can see how FSD handles the lane guidance and cars trying to merge and or turn but as time passes the car becomes more and more aware and more and more confident um, and more capable so one big update we're going to be seeing here is um, assertive mode is what i always leave the car in ever since i've got fsd and they've added profiles the three profiles you can choose from is chill average and assertive so they're going to be replacing assertive with hurry mode what that means exactly not sure so stay tuned as soon as hurry mode comes as an option i will be testing out to see if we're going too fast too furious tokyo drift or if we're just you know trying to weep through traffic i really want to see what they mean by hurry mode are we going to be speeding because if that's the case, that's probably not something that we want to do. Um, but notice how the speed limit here is 35, but cars are all going around 44 to 45. And I'm just keeping up with traffic here. But because I've got it set to auto speed, FSD does all the driving for you. But keep in mind, if the car is speeding and you go past a speed trap or anything like that, you, you can't blame the car all it's going to do is going to follow the pattern of traffic or rents so if everyone's going 50 it's going to do 50 but it usually won't make that decision unless car surrounding is is doing the same thing so yeah this is another example of what i'm talking about about the traffic that we deal with in this area um yeah it's one of the worst i know everyone thinks that they go through the worst traffic in the country I mean, I'm probably sure New York and LA is by far the worst, but the DC metropolitan area is definitely up there when it comes to traffic. Not something that I'm extremely proud about, but you know, it's something that I know everyone in this area deals with. Like for example, if I wanted to drive to Maryland at 4.30, it would take me two hours to get there. But if I wanted to go like around 7 p.m., it would take me one hour to get there. And yeah, so it's just something people deal with in this area. And unfortunately, until we get like, you know, underground tunnels or flying cars, that's going to be the case. But that's really the argument that I bring in with FSD. It does all the driving for you. So when it comes to traffic, you know it's not as tedious as you know it is when you're constantly have to put your foot on the brake and let go look how fsd is noticing this car it's funny that he's waving to me like it's me that he's waving to it's also noticing the tesla 
Let's see if it's gonna let the Tesla in. And it's amazing that the car stopped right before this intersection here. And it's keeping in mind for cars that want to get in like this one here. And yeah, really nice job just kind of keeping track of all the surroundings here. And you know, I didn't want to be like that driver that doesn't let someone in. And it's nice that FSD does it for you, so to say. But keep in mind, it's not always going to do that. It's just based on variables and the way that the right turn is set up and how much space you know is left it, it basically won't let you block the intersection which is a really nice thing because that's usually illegal to block intersections so i know previous versions definitely blocked intersections this version knows a little bit better so yeah curious to see what this tesla is trying to do if he's trying to cut over and somehow make a left here which is kind of impossible but if he's able to pull it off more power to him we're gonna let fsd do its thing now if it notices that i've got enough space to move forward look fsd went ahead and continued as soon as it saw that i won't be blocking that intersection anymore no accelerator presses needed whatsoever it moved up and now i'm not sure what that guy's still trying to do but i gave him all the space that if he was trying to get in front of me he had every opportunity to do so but yeah all in all as you can see it it handles the rules of the road for you it handles the tedious steering wheel gas pedal and brake all for you but it doesn't have that human element so that's you right now that's what your job is your job is to supervise fsd if something doesn't feel right you take over and you drive 90 percent of the time fsd will let's see what it does with this bus it slowed down gave him the chance to think but then it noticed he wasn't moving and it proceeded really nice but yeah all in all this is um a nice uh driver assistance tool that it can do a lot for you but remember everything is variable based and if there's something off, you are required to take over and drive. Tesla, of course, is looking to solve autonomy fully. So who knows, in the next year or two, some of the things I'm saying could be outdated and we can be so far ahead where I'm sitting in the back seat and the car is driving itself, but we are not there yet. We're nowhere close to that yet. Like the car can do U-turns, but if we come to like the end of a road, it can't reverse itself, do a three-point turn and get out of situations. So when it comes to robo-taxi, it needs to figure these things out. So right now we are not there yet. Maybe once we're there, we can talk about being in the backseat and look into some new software options about um, maybe viewing Netflix and Disney Plus or whatever while you're driving because right now you can only view that in the park position. So yeah, let me know what you all think about this drive. Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you again for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got 12.4 coming in really soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.